Good morning everybody! How are we doing? Welcome back to the vlog channel! If you can tell, I've got a pair in my step this morning because I just went to my first exercise class since having the baby. So it's been, well, I, I stopped exercising at like 30 weeks. So it's been a real hot minute um, and I loved every single minute of it. I felt so good. I was so nervous and I'd really been putting it off because I just didn't think that I, I don't know, I just thought I was gonna find it really tough and I didn't, I just wasn't into it, all right? But I tell ya, I went and it was a great time, so feel good, I'm feeling zesty. The washing machine is absolutely popping off the top of this esophagus, as it always does, but it is a new day and I feel so good. I feel like I've got a lot of energy. It is weird how exercising gives you more energy, but I equally do feel tired, so. Weird. Um, but I have got some bananas, bananas, bananas going off. And I kind of want to make something different. There were these banana oat muffins that I had once and they were really good. I'm kind of feeling something like a little muffin, something quick to pop in your gob on the go. Also, I obviously, we're going to nearly be weaning. Um, and I got this how to wean your baby book. Everyone recommended this and it like takes you through everything. And obviously I think you're not supposed to give baby sugar before they're one, like as a minimum. Um, but I found this recipe for little banana muffins and I feel like before I give him the food, I kind of want to make sure that it's nice for adults because I've seen when people try like those purees and stuff and they're like, oh, that's rank. Why would if my baby, I understand why my baby's not eating it if I'm not eating it. So I kind of want to do like a dry run, a recce of some recipes just to make sure they're actually good and have them like stored in the freezer ready to go. Right, the tray is lined. I do not enjoy these colors, but they're the only ones we have left for the muffin liners. Um, and then this is the recipe. So I think you basically blitz everything together. Um, I'm kind of in the mood for this. I hope it's going to be good. Also, if anyone has any weaning essentials, things that you're like, girl, get yourself this. It is funny what everyone recommends. I also did like a vintage bundle of um, these sorts of things. So like some little cups, tiny baby cup, um, and these little like tubs and things. So I'm sterilizing and washing those. Baking powder always makes me sneeze. <laughs> um, let's see how this turns out. It looks quite good actually. I will link the recipe below, but these are full blown muffins. Obviously I'd make little mini ones for him. Right, they are out and they're looking pretty good. He's currently watching me in his high chair and it feels a bit mean. It feels a little bit mean. Oh, okay. Oh, they come off the wrapper. Mm. Oh, the baby would love that. That's such like a baby food, isn't it? Mm. Now, Mr. Grack put a bread on earlier and it's just beeped and gone off. Now, I had loads of questions about this bread maker. It's actually my mum's because, you know, you kind of go through phases with um, food and kitchen gadgets. She wasn't using it, um, but she's had it for literally years and years and years and years. And the one she had before, she actually got as a wedding present. I think it was literally like 25 years old. Um, and it's just a Panasonic one. It's this one, SD253, and it's great. It's got also the raisin nut dispenser, so if you want to add those halfway through your recipe, you can. But honestly, it's great because you can time it. So say I want a fresh bread in the morning, I can just time it to come on when I get downstairs. It's absolutely great. Um, and I mean, it is a different, like, Fresh bread from a bread maker is a different thing entirely to fresh bread that you've like slaved away. But if you if you really want like a good loaf but don't have the time for it, I would recommend making the dough in here and then baking it separately. So say you want to make like cinnamon rolls or something, you can do the dough in here and then whatever. But this is the bread. Absolutely stunning mate. I've just sat down and I'm just getting tonight's video up which I feel like I'm really back in the rhythm of posting but I won't lie um having a break on YouTube is so annoying because the algorithm he's not friends with me anymore he said goodbye on my main YouTube channel um it's so annoying I I but hey it's the price you pay I need some time away with the babe and lo and behold um and I've seen so many other influencers on YouTube who said they had the same thing where they went and had a baby 
had a break from posting and then bam, the algorithm hated them. So we're just riding that wave at the moment. Um, and I'm kind of like, maybe is it my time to not post on YouTube anymore? I don't know. I don't know if people just don't on the main channel like vlogs. Who knows? We're navigating as we go. But I have gotten distracted because I currently live in the same like four outfits. I live in these trousers, which are actually my maternity trousers. They're so comfy though. And basically three jumpers. And I have sold basically my whole wardrobe because I didn't want to get into that place where, you know, when you hold on to clothes when they don't no longer fit you, because obviously my body's changed so much. And then I didn't want to hold on to things and be like, I want when I fit back in this, when I fit back in this, because I'm not going to put pressure on myself to fit back on something when I might not ever fit back because my body has changed so much. So I just sold a bunch of stuff and vintage and my wardrobe is honestly two shelves and about this much clothes <laughs> um, hanging up. So I probably do need some clothes because also I just want to feel good in myself um, and just nothing fit me. So I'm kind of looking and I also just don't really know what I suit anymore. I keep seeing things that I really like but then I'm like, Oh, I just don't know if that's my vibe anymore. I'm trying to refine my style. So I feel like I want to have a little, I want to kind of try some bits on and see, see what works for me, you know. Hello, my loves. Sorry, I shouldn't have, I just put a soft mint in. I'm really in my soft mint era. I feel like I used to have these all the time at school. And now, I had one for my brother the other day. Um, me and my, I'm addicted. I'm actually addicted. I'm on my way to m and M&S and Aldi. Aldi or Lidl, I always get confused. I feel like they're the same supermarket even though they're not. Um, because there are some things that I want to review for TikTok. Um, and also I need to get bone marrow. Because apparently that's a really good first food for a baby. So I'm going to get bone marrow. And you can make that this bone marrow butter. Where you basically just whip up the bone marrow. And roast it and whip it up. So I'm going to do that as this first food. Apparently it's full of a specific type of iron which their body absorbs differently, something like that. It's honestly made me want to do a baby nutrition course because it's so fascinating, it really is. And their little tummies are delicate little things, honestly. It's also an absolutely gorgeous day. We have been having some beautiful, beautiful weather here in England. The thing is, my mum, oh, shut up. My mum used to say, March comes in like a lion and out like a lamb, or in like a lamb and out like a lion. And I believe March came in like a lamb. So does that mean it's gonna go out like a lion? Like it's gonna be really stormy and stuff? Because if that's the case, I'm not mentally prepared because I am lapping this up. You know, never in my life have I been a summer hot weather girly. But something that changed for me, number one, was when we went on our honeymoon to Grenada. Because I had never been somewhere like that before. I had never been on like a hot beach holiday. My family and I used to go on holidays in Cornwall. We went to Estonia as our first holiday because my dad found a really good deal on it. And oh my word, it, I have never seen beaches like Grenada. It was stunning. It's like clear water. Oh my gosh, I would do anything to be back there. That was the first thing that tra transformed my mind on like a hot beach holiday. But the second thing that transformed my mind was that when you have a kid, it's just so nice to get out into the sunshine. Like it's just so good for your mental health for the amount of times that I am spiraling at home and then I just go out and it's just so refreshing to have a bit of sun outside instead of just being stuck indoors all day. I love the croissant range. I feel like this snack time top is very apt for today's weaning discussions and little croissant, so flipping cute. And this banana, why do I love that? That's so gorge. No, I flipping love the carrots. But he's not very, this color isn't very him, to be honest. This is a bit of him. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. I kind of want matching in this. Playful energy, yeah, that's right. That is so cute, what the heck, what the heck. Right, back on our main agenda. I need to go to the food and see if they have the goods that I need. New dawn, it's new day. We're seizing the day, aren't we, baby? We are seizing the day. Ooh, yeah. Um, just put a wash load on. Really? You want to hold, I think he wants to hold the camera. Oh yeah, you, you're being held by Tiny right now. He really wants to play with you. Um, got a wash load on and also I've got a brunch tomorrow so I'm gonna prep for that which I'm really excited for um and what's this little tiny one 
we've been sent a little package. Oh my gosh, I am, I'm buzzed. I am buzzed off my britches, if that is a phrase. Stop, oh my gosh, it smells delicious. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. Look at that. What is it, tiny one? Winter, we don't know her. <laughs> East. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. It's got different things for each of the like seasons. So we've got the Easter Bunny bath bomb. Where is it? Okay, let's smell that. Oh my gosh, Tiny, you're gonna like this because it's glittery. Mmm, <gasps> smells rich, smells expensive, smells luxurious. Would you like to smell it, my love? A cookie dough lip oil. Are you joking me? Coffee morning shower jelly? What have we got here? What is it? Ooh. Sorry, did you want to smell it? Please. Thank you. You can hold it if you want. Do you want to hold it? Do you want to hold it? It's the yummy custard body, body wash. I'm actually out of my body wash at the moment. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh, there's one more. Mother's Day, Ed and Mummy. That's so funny. Bean bath bomb. Oh, I am obsessed. Listen, you and me. Fresh. <laughs> Thank you, Lush. I genuinely. <laughs> I feel like I'm having a great day now. Fickle. Fickle, I know. I'm fickle. I'm a fickle gal. Um, anyway, we also need to start the weaning journey today. Amy? Yeah, what would you like? I've made some whipped bone marrow. Um, and that's an ice cube tray and everything. Yeah, what an absolutely gorgeous day. Should we do some playing? What do you want to play with? Okay, this is the concoction. I'm just getting the thing that I need. So you put oil, water, and some food coloring, and then obviously it separates. And then you just get some Alka-Seltzer tablets. I just got the Tesco, like, dissolvable paracetamol. Obviously I'd love a lid, but I don't think I have a lid for this jar. So you just break it up into small little bits. Put the tablet in. Can you see? It looks like a little lava lamp. I'll put the link in the description to what I used, but it just bubbles away. I feel like for a three-year-old, actually doing the whole experiment would be so cool. <laughs> Oh, you watching it? Right guys, I've gotten home from my excursions. Today I've seemed to have had two packages sent, which is really fun. From none other than Wittard. And if little 14 year old Grack would have seen this, she wouldn't have, she would have squealed. Absolutely, I mean, I did do a squeal already when they messaged me, but double squeal because in my, when I used to revise my GCSEs in the library, I'd take myself off into town in my little break and I would neck all the free samples. They would have hot chocolates, teas, have a great time. I actually became besties with the um, worker there. But they've sent this and it's a little taste test. It says, which will be your favourite? Sweet or spicy? Don't turn over just yet. So I can't see what that is. So, oh, nearly saw it there. But the problem is it doesn't say how to prepare them. So I want to like peel it off, but I don't know how to prepare them. So this is the sweet one, if you can't tell. And then we've got the spicy. So I'm gonna make a hot chockies and we can do a little side by side. Okay, are you ready? I have made, this is the sweet, this is the swicy. I don't know what one to go for first. Let's go for the swi, swi, swi. I had a real my function then. I'm smelling mango. So maybe it's mango, maybe it's tropical. No, it said that it's tropical. Tropical twist, mango? Mmm. I wouldn't normally go for a white chocolate mat. Now, the other day I was doing a hot chocolate test and everybody said, Wittard's is the best for hot chocolate and they're not lying. That is so gorgeous and creamy. Okay, nervous about this one. I never know how I feel about chili and hot chocolate. I'm assuming it's chili. Hang on, I'm getting some honey. That's kind of good. The like warmth in the back of your throat, it kind of feels like a, if you've just come back from a cold winter's walk, it like warms the throat. That's honey, hot honey. Is it? Let's see what the sweet is. Do I turn it over? Or it said peel back. Okay, let's peel back. This isn't sponsored or anything. I literally, they just said it. They just sent it. They didn't say I had to post about it. But I just think this is so fun. Okay. I'm saying mango. <gasps> mango flavor, white hot chocolate. Gorgeous. Okay, I'm saying hot honey. And also this like branding is very, very, it's giving hot honey. Hot. 
hot and dangerous. If you don't want to Okay. The taste buds never lie. The taste buds never lie. They're really good. I'm pleasantly surprised. I think, had I seen the packaging, I would have been like, <laughs> hot honey, what are you on about? But the flavor, the flavors are melting in my mouth. That was actually really, really quite delicious. So cheers, I'm gonna go enjoy this because I'm about to do the little tiny nighttime feed. And I like a little beverage to keep me going. <laughs> right, the baby is really putting up a fight tonight. He's saying, I don't wanna go to sleep. I get it, it's a Friday night and he probably knows the mum is home alone. I feel like babies always know when a parent is flying solo. <laughs> um, but I have just made a little snack platter and I'm so excited. This is just round one. This is a girl dinner, okay? The ultimate girl dinner for me. I'm so excited. We've got some pickles, olives, my favorite cheese in the world, which is Morbier. Oh, salami, chicken Caesar dip from M&S, pita chips, carrots, and then some cheese. The cheese has gone pink from the salami, which is a little bit unnerving, but hey ho. And then I've also, I mean, I've already glugged it and I've had to top it up with water. I had the strawberry daiquiri from M&S. Unbelievable. I normally get the mojito, but it was out of stock. Good merry morning to ya. We are getting ready for my friends to come over for Easter brunch. And it's quite funny because I bought all these bits for brunch in 2020. I have a Easter breakfast brunch, but then obviously COVID happened, so I couldn't. So I, ha I found all these things. It's quite funny to see what has pricked Grace five years ago's injury. Five years ago, COVID. Wow. That's obscene, Same what the way. heck? What the heck, baby? That's crazy. Um, so what apparently had pricked her interest were these little egg candles, these little straws with bunnies. Yeah, exactly. Okay, the spread is coming together. I've done a little continental platter. That looks like a hair, but it's not. It's a little crack. Then I've got like the brioche, the croissants. I'm gonna do a yogurt and fresh fruit stand. I've got some drinks, including some ginger shot. I need to brew a tea for the teapot. I've got the candle on, oh my gosh, this smells amazing. Okay, it is really coming together now. We've got our little fresh fruit, add a little bit of mint and pomegranate just to make it pop. We've got the continental, everything is coming together. Now I need to get myself together because I'm not looking quite so together. I have done my hair as basic as possible. I've done a little plait, haven't I? Are you excited to have some guests? You quite like being entertained, don't you? Scritch, can you hear him scritchy scratching? on the camera. My vein is really thriving right now. It's a thriving metropolis. Um, and I just love how it turned out. I really do. I put the little egg candles on. They're really sweet. Um, and the cinnamon rolls are done and we have to wait for them to cool. And then you put on this icing. Um, and I only did two panels of glass because I thought, but in hindsight, maybe I should have done more. Mm.